welcome to trinod chemistry class in this video i am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic acids bases this is my third video in this concept of acids bases in my first two videos i have discussed about arrhenius acid base theory and bronsted lowry theory in this video i am going to discuss about uh, conjugate acid base pair what is conjugate acid base pair how to write its conjugate acid or conjugate base for a given species thank you for watching trinod chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel so in my second video i have discussed about uh, bronsted lowry theory bronsted lowry theory of acid bases according to this bronsted lowry theory proton donor is an acid and proton acceptor is a base proton donor is an acid proton acceptor is a base right so if the species which can donate protons to other species is called acid the species which can accept protons from others is called base now let us discuss what is a conjugate acid base conjugate acid base pair for example if you take hcl and h2 so what is happening here this is acting as a bronsted acid and this is acting as a bronsted base right hcl is donating a proton to h2 and acting as a bronsted acid whereas whereas h2o is accepting a proton from hcl and acting as a bronsted base then it is forming h3o plus and cl if you take the reverse reaction if you take the reverse reaction in this case h3o plus is acting as an acid and uh, as cl minus is accepting a proton from h3o plus it is acting as a base right this is acid 1 base 1 acid 2 base two. right so here if you observe for an acid there is a corresponding base that base we are calling it as the conjugate base conjugate base similarly for a base there is a corresponding acid that we are calling it as the conjugate acid so now so for every species every species if it is an acid there should there is a there should be a base there should be a base which is the which is called conjugate base of that corresponding acid so the prati acid ki kuda oka conjugate base anedi untundi adhe vidhanga base ki kuda em untundi anipna conjugate acid untundi right similarly let me take one more example nh3 plus h2 nh3 plus h2 now what is this nh4 plus plus oh h2 now here what is happening this is the base and it is the acid if you take the reverse reaction this is the acid and this is the base right if you observe as nh3 is a base there is a corresponding conjugate acid similarly h2o is an acid there is a corresponding conjugate base oh minus now what is a conjugate acid base pair what is a conjugate acid base pair conjugate acid base pair means the acid base pair which differs by a single proton what is that the acid the acid base pair which differs by a single proton is called conjugate acid base pair right the acid base pair which differs by a single proton the acid base pair which differs by a single proton is called conjugate acid base pair what is the conjugate acid base pair the acid base pair which differs by a single proton is called conjugate acid base pair conjugate acid base pair now so let me take with an example if you observe this is cl and h2 in this case i have already discussed this example you see here what is happening is cl is acting as an acid and h2o is acting as a base in the reverse reaction 
in the reverse reaction what is happening this is acid and this is the base this is acid and this is the base right so this is the acid this is the base right the acid base pair which differs by a which differs by a single proton which differs by a single proton is called conjugate acid base pair is called conjugate acid base pair now what is the acid hc what is its corresponding base cl minus is the conjugate base conjugate base of hcl is what cl minus cl minus so this pair which is differs by a which is differs by a two protons differs by a one proton you see now the difference is one h plus that's why this pair we are calling it as the conjugate acid base pair. similarly if you take h2o is a base and h3o plus is the acid conjugate acid of this h2o base right here that this pair also is differs by one h plus that's why this pair we are calling it as the conjugate acid base pair now what is the conjugate acid base pair the acid base pair which differs by a single proton the acid base pair which differs by a single proton is called a conjugate acid base pair now how to write conjugate acid or conjugate base for a given species to write the conjugate acid to write the conjugate acid add h plus add h plus right and uh, to write the conjugate base conjugate base subtract h plus subtract h plus right now let me explain with an example if you write if you take h2 if you take h2 now the conjugate acid of conjugate acid of h2o is now add what is happening h2o plus h plus now initially first add the species how many h2s are there here two there is one oxygen here there is one hydrogen so total hydrogens are h3 three hydrogens and three. now add the charges here there is no charge zero here what is the charge plus one so to overall it is h3o plus overall it is h3o plus similarly let me take one more example for example if you take nh3 now its corresponding conjugate acid of nh3 is conjugate acid to write the conjugate acid what to do nh3 plus h plus now what happens now one hydrogen and here there are three hydrogens here one more hydrogen that's why Four hydrogens and H four plus. Now N H four plus is the corresponding conjugate acid of ammonia. Conjugate acid of ammonia. Now let me take one more example. O H minus. What is the conjugate acid of O H minus? Here O H minus plus H plus. Add one H plus. Now what is happening? Here there are two hydrogens H two O. Now charges you observe. Here it is minus one and uh, plus this is plus one. So minus one and plus one it becomes zero. That's why there is no charge. Now what is the conjugate acid of OH minus? This is H two O. So to write the conjugate acid for any for any given species, what to do? We have to add one H plus. So while adding the H plus, we have to add the species as well as charges as well as the charges. So here as H two O has no charge, this is zero. Zero plus plus one. What is it? It becomes plus one. That's why overall charge on this H3O plus is plus, right? Then H3 for conjugate acid of N H3 is what? Here there are three one hydrogen, one hydrogen, three hydrogens. Here one more H. There it N. Then H3 plus here one H4. That then charge just H zero plus one. What it becomes plus, right? So this is the way to write the conjugate acid. So similarly, similarly. to write the conjugate base to write the to write the conjugate base 
add one add sorry subtract one proton subtract one proton so to write the conjugate base what to do we have to write the we have to subtract one proton so let me take h2 so what to do we have to subtract one proton h plus right so here two hydrogens if we subtract one hydrogen what it becomes one h and there is only one hydrogen now you find the consider the charges here yeah, h2o there is no charge that's why charge is zero and a minus plus one. so what is becomes zero minus one it is becoming minus one. now what is the charge minus oh minus oh minus similarly let me take one more example if you give the species is given as a uh, hco3 minus hco3 minus what is happening hco3 minus minus h plus now what to do you subtract one proton now here already one is there one remove if you remove no co3 then here it is minus one minus of plus one so minus one minus into plus minus the overall it become minus one. so co3 minus one so what is the conjugate base of co3 minus co3 minus two co3 minus two so here in ip exam the for four marks or two marks it is an important question what is the conjugate acid base pair? And uh, uh, they will ask, they will give some examples. And if examples, then corresponding conjugate acid, gani, base, gani, rai, mani, adagatana, kaukasum. Thank you for watching Trinath chemistry classes. Please like the video, share, and subscribe the channel.